Hello everyone, welcome to Road to IPM. This is the second video of the topic the phrasal verbs and in this video we will begin with the alphabet H. Before beginning, I would like to reiterate the meaning of the phrasal verbs. Phrasal verbs is a combination of verbs and prepositions and the meaning which they convey is entirely different from the initial meaning of the verb. Remember we have discussed this particular definition by the help of an example that's pull and we have taken the example of pull and pull off. Pull means to bring someone or something towards you and pull off if your plan pulls off that means your plan succeeds. So the meaning that pull conveys and the meaning that pull off conveys both the meanings are entirely different and that's what the definition wants to say. So I hope you understand you have understood this entire definition well. Uh, and now let's begin with the alphabet H. The verb is hand and the first phrasal verb is hand in. Hand in means to submit something. So our class teacher has asked us to hand in the assignment to her by next Monday. So she has asked us to submit the assignment to her by the next Monday. Then handout means to distribute. The chief guest handed out the prizes. So the chief guest distributed the prizes among the students. And then we have handover. Handover means to transfer something, to transfer your property, to transfer your money or uh, similar things. He handed over the business to his son. So he transferred the business to his son. And then hand on. Hand on means to transmit. The peon handed the message on to the officer. So the peon had some message and he was asked to transmit that message to the officer. Then we have the verb hold. The first phrasal verb is hold down. Hold down means to control, to put a check, to put a limit. The government must hold down the onion prices. The government must control the onion prices. Then we have hold out. Hold out means to sustain. How long will our supply, food supplies hold out? How long are they going to sustain? How long will they last? How long will our food supplies last? How long will they sustain? Then hold back. Hold back means to keep secret. Don't hold back anything from your parents. You should share everything with them. So don't keep anything secret from your parents. Then we have the verb lay. And the first phrase and verb is lay down. Lay down has two meanings. The first meaning is sacrifice. The patriot laid down his life for the country. So the patriot sacrificed his life for the country. And the second meaning is prescribe. The CISCE has laid down a detailed syllabus. So the ICC council has laid down, has prescribed a detailed syllabus for its students. Then the second phrasal verb is lay off. Lay off means to dismiss. Now this particular phrasal verb was very common during the COVID pandemic time when the workers were dismissed from their work. And um, we have the, a very similar sample sentence too. The factory had to lay off several workers due to lockdown. So the factory unwantedly had to dismiss several workers as there was a lockdown. And then. We have the phrasal verb lay up. Lay up means to be confined to bed. I was laid up for three weeks with a broken leg. So as his, bro as his leg has broken, he was confined to the bed. He was not able to move anywhere. So he was confined to the bed for three weeks. Then we have lay out. Lay out means to arrange something. Lay out the table for dinner. Arrange the table so that we can have the dinner. Then we have the verb look. And the first phrasal verb is look after. Look after means to take care of. She looks after her sick father. So her father is sick and she takes care of him. She looks after him. Then we have look forward. Look forward means to expect with pleasure. So if someone has to visit your house, so you look forward for the visit of that person. Uh, I'm looking forward to the visit of my grandmother. So my grandmother is expected to visit us within a few days and I'm looking forward with immense pleasure for her visit. Then we have look for. Look for means to search. I'm looking for my wallet. I'm searching for my wallet. And then we have look up. Look up means to find the meaning of 
please look up the word in the dictionary please find the meaning of the word in the dictionary a caveat never use look for the word in the dictionary i've seen like many people they uh, say please look for the word in the dictionary now please uh, i'm obviously like look for means to search so they think that um, searching the word in the dictionary also will take a look for that that, that is not the case that's a mistake that's in grammatically incorrect so you should always look up the meaning of a word in the dictionary so please be a little careful it's never look for then look over look over means to examine the minister looked the papers over before placing them in the parliament so the minister examined the papers carefully before placing them in the parliament then we have look through look through means to study look through your notes before the examination so your examinations are approaching and you should study your notes you should revise them well and then you have look up to look up to means you respect someone or to you will look up to someone as an inspiration we look up to him as our leader so he has the required leadership skills and we respect him as our leader then we have look down upon look down upon means to despise or to disrespect uh, it's some uh, spelling error it should be a d i s r e s p e c t so we should not look down upon the poor we should not disrespect the poor then we have a uh, make and the phrasal verb is make out make out means to understand something to comprehend something i can't make out what this sms means so what's written in the sms i'm not able to understand that i'm not able to get the meaning of it then we have make over make over means to transform to change he made over his old house so he completely transformed he completely changed his old house then we have make up now make up means to comp it has three meanings the first meaning is to compensate the government hasn't made up the losses of the riot victims so during a riot there were some victims and they have faced some losses and the government has not compensated them for those losses then we have the second meaning to take a decision i have made up my mind to leave this house so i have decided that i am going to leave this house then the third meaning is to fabricate the students made up a story for their absence the students were not present and they stood and what they did was they fabricated a false narrative they fabricated a false story to justify their absence and then we have the verb pass now the first phrase of verb is pass away pass away means to die his uncle passed away last weekend so his uncle died the last weekend then we have pass by pass by means to go by the side of some or something we wave to her as her car passed by so as she went by our side we wave at her then um we have pass off pass off means to represent falsely though not qualified he passed off as a physician so he was not qualified he didn't have the qualifications but he represented himself as a physician falsely then we have passed through passed through means to undergo he has passed through terrible suffering so he has underwent terrible sufferings he has lived that phase of his life and then we have the verb pull the first phrasal verb is pull in pull in means to arrive the local express finally pulled in so the local express finally arrived at the station then we have pull out pull out means to leave i was forced to pull out of the partnership because of the differences so there were differences among the members and that forced me to leave the partnership group to leave the group then we have pulled through pull through means to recover she has pulled through her illness she has recovered from her illness she has got well now then we have pull off pull off means um to say and the same phrasal verb which we used in the example in the beginning of the video to succeed in a plan how to pull off a blood donation camp during a pandemic so there's a pandemic going on and you want to uh, organize a blood donation camp now you are you are thinking or contemplating how to uh, make this plan successful how to uh, how to succeed in this plan 
so how to pull off a blood donation camp during a pandemic then we have pull up pull up means to reprimand okay uh, the mischievous boy was pulled up by the teachers so the mischievous boy was scolded was reprimanded by the teachers then we have pulled down pulled down means to demolish something the old building was pulled down by the squad so the squad demolished the old building and then we have the verb put now the phrasal verb is put off put off means to postpone the meeting has been put off till tomorrow so there was some problem today and hence the meeting was postponed till tomorrow it was put off till tomorrow then we have put across put across means to convey something well he knows how to put his ideas across convincingly so he knows very well how to express himself how to convey his ideas well then we have put up put up means to stay he put up at his uncle's house last night so he stayed at his uncle's house till last night and then we have put out put out has two meanings the first meaning is extinguish the fire was finally put out so the fire was finally extinguished and uh, the second meaning is getting annoyed he was put out on not being invited to the party so uh, he was not invited to the party and that thing annoyed him a lot so he was put out on not being invited to the party then we have put up with put up me with means to tolerate something or to tolerate someone so i can no longer put up with his insolence he must go so this is too much this arrogant attitude of him i cannot tolerate this attitude anymore and he must go now then we have the verb run the phrasal verb is run over run over means to hit with so he was run over by a car so a car came and the car hit him so the car ran over him then run into run into means to meet someone accidentally so she ran into an old friend friend in the fair so she has went to a fair so she has gone to a fair and she accidentally met with an old friend of her then we have the phrasal verb run down run down again has two meanings the first meaning uh, is insult someone uh, we shouldn't run down our subordinates we should not insult our subordinates we sh- must respect them also then the second meaning is to become weak she has been working hard and has much run down so she is working literally very hard and she has become weak and then we have run through run through means to squander the spendthrift has run through his fortune so this spendthrift has spent all his fortune the spendthrift has squandered all his fortune um then we have the verb set now the phrasal verb is set up set up means to establish something he set up a new factory he established a new factory then we have set out set out means to start on a journey he set out for the tour of the country he set out on the journey he started the journey the tour of the country then set on set on means to be determined to uh, be hell bent on doing something i am set on going to kashmir this summer so i am determined i have pledged that i am going to kashmir this summer then set in set in means to begin as the spring sets in the flowers bloom in the garden in our garden so as the season of spring begins the flowers start to bloom in our garden and then we have the verb stand now stand up for stand up for means to defend something he stood up for the rights of the oppressed so he stood up he defended the rights of the oppressed uh then we have stand by stand by means to support someone a f- true friend stands by in difficulty so during the times of adversity during the times of difficulty a true friend supports you then we have the verb take now the first phrase and verb is take after take after means to resemble someone the child has taken after her mother in many ways so the child resembles her mother in many ways 
then we have take over take over means to acquire control of something so mr ravi is supposed to take over when the manager retires so it's expected that mr ravi is going to acquire the control of the firm or of the business when the manager retires then we have take up take up has two meanings the first meaning is to pursue something i have taken up stamp collecting as a hobby and stamp collecting collection collecting stamps is known as philately so i have i'm pursuing philately as a hobby i'm uh, pursuing collect collection of stamps as a hobby of mine then on the second meaning is to consider something the matter was taken up in the meeting last night so the matter was taken up for consideration was discussed in the meeting the last night and then we have the verb turn the first phrasal verb is turn out turn out means to prove he turned out to be a traitor so uh, he he was proved to be a traitor he cheated us he betrayed us then we have turned down turned down means to reject somebody's proposal his request was turned down by the teacher so so, so the request which he made was rejected by the teacher then we have turn up turn up means to come or appear for something everyone turned up to see the performance so the, there was some performance and everyone came to see that performance so with this we come to the end of the topic phrasal verbs hope you have liked both the videos you have learned a lot from them we promise to bring more videos more informative videos for you people till then stay tuned and keep watching rti keep revising and keep preparing well thank you everyone Thank you.